In this video, we're going to look at a fascinating component of ginger. Now, one of the biggest problems when it comes to cancer is not necessarily the cancer itself, but the relapse rate. Because even when you get rid of a tumour, often the cancer comes back. The reason it comes back is that cancer consists of two kinds of cells. Number one, cancer cells, which are uncontrolled, fast-growing cells that are the product of cancer stem cells. And number two, cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are the mother of cancer cells, which is why killing them is essential to eliminate the root source to prevent reoccurrence. They're seen as immortal, as they're able to self-renew and can be resistant to chemo, and are capable of splitting off to create new tumour colonies. And this could be where ginger comes in. Before we look at this study, just a reminder to discuss any changes you make to your diet with your doctor first. This study has found that a component within dried ginger, known as 6 shojul was found to be 10,000 times more effective than chemotherapy in targeting the root cause of breast cancer malignancy, namely the breast cancer stem cells. Researchers of this study identified powerful anti-cancer stem cell activity in 6 shojo. They found that it can kill cancer stem cells, but all without adversely affecting healthy tissue, because the cancer-destroying effects occurred at concentrations that were non-toxic to non-cancerous cells. The most abundant compound in ginger is 6 shojul. Now, let's hear from Dr. Greger. Ginger, um, and actually dried ginger, ironically, dried ginger actually has more antioxidant power than fresh ginger. It's because uh, the, there's a class of compounds called shojils, which are dehydration products of ginger, actually not present in the fresh root, but created when ginger is dried and actually has properties that fresh ginger doesn't. So when you dehydrate fresh ginger into powder, Ginger rolls are converted into those compounds called shojuls. So dried ginger could be more effective against cancer stem cells as fresh ginger, because fresh ginger contains much less 6 shojul. Ginger has been tested on different kinds of cancers, including breast, ovarian, prostate and colon cancer. Researchers have found that consumption of dried ginger appears to be safe and effective at a dose between 100 mg to 2 grams per day. This is the equivalent to half to one teaspoon of dried ginger daily in your food and drink. There's evidence to suggest that it might be important to try and find dried ginger that has not been heated over 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Some sources suggest brands like Simply Organic or Spicely might be suitable. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.